Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out the Glow by Day, uh, what is it called? Premium Soft Hood Bonnet Dryer Attachment. So this item comes in a little pouch and it is just a long hose attached to a cap, which you place on your head. Uh, this cap has a tightening string type thing and it has a neck strap. The hose attaches to your hair dryer like so and then uh, basically this is an alternative way for you to dry your hair. I think it's aimed at people with curly hair, people that set your hair with uh, like curl formers and basically it's supposed to just help you dry your hair faster as a portable cheap alternative to a actual salon style hair dryer that goes like over your head. I'm gonna go hop in the shower, wet my hair and then talk you through the rest of this process. All right, so I've plopped my hair and pop in for like five to ten minutes just as I get out of the shower, throw some clothes on, you know, moisturize my face. So now I'm literally just going to put this on my head, blow dry for about 20 minutes and we'll see what it's like. Um, the settings that I'm going to be using are low speed on medium heat. And then the, one of the benefits to using this is you can just set it down. So I'm going to be applying some of my makeup while I actually blow dry my hair, which is a great use of time. Personally, I hate blow drying my hair. I would much rather just let it dry naturally or use something like this hands-free alternative. So let me get this on my head. I'm going to attempt to put some strawberries in my hair. One thing I found using this dryer, experimenting with it, is that it tends to make the back of my head really flat. Maybe it's the way I insert my head into the cap. Maybe you can give me some advice. Today I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try putting in some curl formers just on the back of my head. This dryer cost me $21.99. I bought it off of Amazon and there was an initial about $10 to duty and ship it to Canada because I could not find a cheap alternative on Amazon Canada. You could get it in pink or black. I don't know why I chose purple. I think if I had the option, I could have just chosen black. It says the chin strap is completely optional and it's just to prevent the cap from flying off your head. Personally, I really like the chin strap and they say it's best used on the dryer's low setting. It also says it's an adjustable bonnet hood that allows you to adjust the fit around your unique head size, hairstyle, and hair accessories including rollers, clips, and flexi rods, etc. It's light on your head while still trapping the heat. And you can use it for drying or conditioning, which I thought was a really good idea. It says the hose is about three feet so that you can actually put the dryer down somewhere safe and still be able to do other things while you dry your hair. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. So I'm gonna take this off. Um, I did most of it on like medium heat. But then for the last five, 10 minutes, I turned it down to low. You see, I did do some powder foundation, but obviously if you're going with a heavy base, you probably want to skip your foundation altogether to begin with. And this is the results I got. Let me pull out my little curls. It's not completely dry. You probably could keep going longer. It won't be too much longer till it's completely dry. Um, you can see I was able to multitask and I feel like if you just have better hair in general than me, you will get better results. If you have a better routine, you get a better result. To be honest, I was a little bit skeptical at first about this thing, but it's definitely really grown on me. One of the other things I like it compared to normal just diffusing is when you're diffusing your curly hair, you tend to be like bent over upside down and that can be really hard on your back. This lets you sit comfortably, you're not upside down, you're doing your own thing. And I just, I like it a lot. You can see from previous uses, I've gotten some foundation on it. It does say it is hand washable, so if you've got some makeup buildup on there, you could definitely um, wash it off. 
But yeah, that is a look at my glow by day thing. That was 20 minutes of blow drying. The little strawberry or curlers definitely helped keep the back from just being completely flat. So I think maybe that also has to do with how you get your hair into the cap as well as the length. It fit no problem with these things and they feel reasonably dry. I'm gonna give this glow by day a four out of five. I'm still working out the kinks, but I do feel like it is a great cheap alternative. And if you're someone that is uncomfortable or doesn't like diffusing or just drying your hair in general, I think it is a really natural step from plopping to sticking your head in the dryer cap. And of course, if you have any tips or tricks for me, or if you have a similar hair texture and you wanna share your routine with me, definitely will leave your comments down below. I could really use your help and advice. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new about this crazy diffuser cap. Maybe one day I'll try putting my hair all up in strawberries and see if that will like overall set my entire head. <laughs> and they kind of give you like a looser wave which is kind of like the regular texture of the back of my head anyway. Huge thanks to my patrons who of course help make these videos possible. I will be linking to this guy on Amazon, the same link that I purchased it through, and I can link to these strawberries here too. So uh, that is another way you can help support my channel by clicking through my affiliate links. And you can also help my channel just by sharing this video with anybody else who might uh, find it helpful and help me out by leaving those tips. And with that, you guys, I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye, guys.